One of the most important pieces of data that I watch in this market has just flipped. And I want you guys to be very aware of what is happening right now. So we're gonna talk about the macro, the technicals, and the fundamentals so you can be fully up to date. And if you can do me a favor, all I ask in return is you smash that like button and help me get this video to 1,000 likes. And let's jump straight into it. So we can see Bitcoin is still in our channel. Depending on how you want to draw this, I still believe that this is a bull flag, right? We still have the bull flag. Right now, Bitcoin is running into some resistance at 62,800. But I think the move that we're having is a little bit healthy right now, okay? Because we've bounced directly off this region down here, 60,500. We bounced directly off here, which was, was previous resistance. We flipped it into a support and now we are heading up. This could be confirming that this uptrend that we've been in higher highs and higher lows could be continuing up to our resistance, which sits at about 68,500, okay? So right now, 62,800, the resistance 68,300. And we've tried this resistance one, two, three, four, five different times. And every time we've been rejected and so far, we are yet to break it, but if we can now break uh, 63,800, this little region that we're in right now, this resistance region, I do think that we have a big likelihood of coming up. With that said, guys, it's also important to not be too overly bullish when we do have green days. Of course, right now we are trying this resistance, but on the bearish side of things that we do also need to pay attention to, if we get rejected right here, I would be watching again this level, uh, 60,400, if we lose that, then I do still think that it's very clear that we may come down to this liquidity zone of 57,000. That's where the stop losses, the liquidations, and the emotional capitulation sits. And then if it does get worse than that, of course, down here uh, at the low 50s. Now you need to be prepared for all of these eventualities just in case they happen. That's meaning by that you need to be ready to dollar cost average, have your stop losses in, or take profits if we see them. You need to be prepared for this in case we do get these pullbacks, guys, because it's important, all right? If you get blindsided by them, that's when you're just gonna start getting emotional and you're going to make bad decisions. You can see here we've pushed down. If we do not break this resistance and break it here, we may be starting a new downtrend. Okay, so you need to be prepared for that. If you have a trade like mine open, have some stop losses in place, take some profit. That sort of stuff will keep you safe because we do not know what will happen next. We spoke about this in depth in yesterday's video. So please go and check that. All right. A lot of people want to say they know exactly what's going to happen, but we do not. So what we do is we plan for both the good and the bad. Now, I do believe there is also a ton ton of great news that you guys want need to be aware of, right? Please do remember that nothing in my videos <coughs> should be considered financial advice because I'm not your financial advisor, right? This is just my thoughts and opinions on this market. But if you appreciate those thoughts, do me a favor, smash that like button, right? So Bitcoin is about to make a golden cross, 50 week over the 200 week. And look at this, other previous times this has happened back in 2020 before our parabolic run. We have here in July, we have in July, 2023, we have here in early 24 and now again early 24 was before we made this massive run that we're in right now that a lot of people don't think we're in a massive run but guys take a look at the prices of things a year ago all right but we're making this golden cross again guys so very interesting stuff we also have new whales accumulating massive amounts of bitcoin with huge demand this is the thing that i don't think people are aware of right now new whales coming into the space is very interesting because big players, big institutional players, due to the information that we have, are deciding to come in now when the market is boring, when the market has pulled back. They're coming in now due to the ETFs, due to the uh, regulatory framework that we're having right now. Speaking about regulatory framework, just look at this country. Look at this. The UAE just eliminated taxes on cryptocurrency transactions. They are light years ahead of the rest of the world. Imagine how much Bitcoin the billionaires in this country are buying ahead of the bull market. No taxes on cryptocurrency transactions, guys. So this is huge, right? New whales are accumulating. We have Bitcoin being the best performing asset of 2024 so far. And I hate to tell some of the haters, but we also having altcoins go on a run as well. We have Sui going back up again today, a very nice candle. Our trade is now $8,000 in the profit. You know, I added to this on the way down and now we're reaping the rewards from that, from adding when people got scared exactly here. So what I always say on this channel, we wanna be adding at 
uh, areas of support, not areas of resistance. A lot of people would have got involved in a SUI trade up here, got wrecked and got scared and sold their position here only for the price to just move up. And now we're sitting in a position where we can just take more profits here and protect our downside. This is the key and this is how I like to trade in this market with this specific style of low leverage, high margin trading. So if you guys do want to trade, there are links down there in the description to JumpX. You get $100,000 up to if you are a whale trader here, you trade a lot, high volume, that sort of thing. But you can also get up to 35,000, 2,000, 10,000 and guys, two uh, VIP, two on your account, but only if you follow my link. So if you follow my link, you'll get this awesome deposit bonus, but you'll also get your account uh, qualified as VIP too, which means you get treated like a VIP on the exchange plus 10% discount on all of your trades from here on out. So awesome opportunity. And we also have Margex down there in the description, which I absolutely love for our quick high leverage trades. Look at this, $5,500 in profit again. We're just holding these trades open, waiting for them to start printing again. Probably about five to $10,000 of profit just sitting right here. Look at this. And this trade was only $300 of Ethereum into five and a half thousand dollars. So this is the the opportunity that you have here if you learn how to use leverage to your power, to your benefit, right? Don't let it control you like the people that we're about to talk about right now. So this is the information that I'm talking about here. But remember, guys, if you do want to trade, the links are down there in the description to the exchanges that I use. If you use those links, you're going to get amazing deposit bonuses, which you won't find anywhere else. So, oh, and also, no matter where you're watching this video, you can trade on these exchanges. That's why I've specifically chose them. Now, with the information, what has flipped recently? So the liquidation heat map, all right? Bitcoin, Ethereum, everything. As we can see here, the shorts are now getting liquidated, all right? On the one hour, the 12 hour, and the four hour, we see shorts getting absolutely decimated here. They are coming in. People are going short on the market down here. They flip from being bullish up here to bearish down here. Again, that's not what we want to be doing. We want to be bullish down here and bearish up here if you are short term trading both up and down guys. And as we sit right here, overall, the market is very even on the 30 day, on the seven day and on the daily. The market is very even. OK, there are still slightly more longs in this market on the daily. There are slightly more longs on the weekly and there are slightly more on the 30 day chart here. OK, so slightly, slightly more. But we have massive amounts of shorts coming in, which is exactly what we want to see. We do want to see more shorts come in. However, this could be enough now to push the market up. And this pullback here might be enough for us to head higher. On the technical, though, what we simply want to see here is a first a break of 63,009 and then a break of this up here at 66.5. If we can break 66.5, this would confirm this continuation of this uptrend, which would be very nice for the market. And hopefully the altcoins can start to run. You can see our altcoin season index is in a 37. So we are still on this uptrend, guys. It's going up and down, up and down, up and down. But we are still still on this uptrend and we can see some altcoins are actually doing really nicely. And if we talk about the video that we made yesterday, one of the things that I mentioned was how I was adding to my new cycle crypto portfolio. We added SUI, we added OM and we added Conflux. The reason why we added these to the portfolio is simply because they were the outperformers in this current pullback. And you can see in the last 24 hours, SUI's up 5%. Um, Mantra is up 1.79% and Conflux is up 6.41%. So this could be a very interesting style that you guys want to look at. Look at the outperformers in the market, the ones that are pumping against the market, the ones that are holding up really well. Of course, Suri is one of the outliers recently. In fact, Say has been really interesting as well. I think those two may come hand in hand. If Suri pumps, Say seems to pump. You can see uh, Say is up 7% in 24 hours and Suri is only up 5%. So an interesting play there. But these are all of my new cycle altcoins that I'm going to be holding into this rally. And we're going to see if buying these sorts of new cycle crypto will outperform our just simple DCA portfolio, which is based around community projects. OK, so projects that have huge communities. So if you want to stay up to date with everything that I'm doing in this market, smash that subscribe button. Don't forget to help me out with the like. And if you do want to trade, guys, all of the links to my exchanges are down there in the description. Make sure you grab these deposit bonuses 
because of course they're not going to last forever. So I highly suggest both of the exchanges that I leave down there if you are looking for a leverage trade. And one last thing, guys, the DXY has gone absolutely crazy to the upside, right? <clears throat> we broke the resistance that we were hoping not to break, but hopefully we have now found resistance at 102.5 and then we can head lower. We want to lose this 100 mark here. This is what we want for the bull run because if we look here, the last time we lost it back here, of course it was resistance. It never really broke, but we're in a much stronger position now. Uh, but once this broke, this is where the bull run was. So if we can do the same thing again, we can get the bull run going again down here. With that said, guys, hopefully I've provided you some value today and I will see you in the next one. Peace.